Hello everyone, this is me Rabab Zera from TechX Media. We are in Jitex Global 2024 and I have with me right now is Sata Keys. He is Global Tech Evangelist Observability at SolarWinds. Quite a known face in the industry. So let's welcome Sasha Geese on TechX Media. Hi Sasha, how are you? Hello, I'm very good. I'm tired. It's day two of Jitex. Very busy, very yes. amazing. Thank you for joining us. It's a pretty cool show as each year. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you here with us again. Uh, we did an interview at Jitex and Jitex also. So uh, Sasha, in your discussion, as you have been attending for Jitex for uh, years now, in your discussion with attendees at Jitex, the second day today, what are the primary challenges or uh, uh, business goals uh, uh, people are uh, hoping to address with observ observability? So there's a lot of stuff going on about business modernization that might be something shifting workloads into the clouds or it might be just using new technology. And those are usually projects that involve people and people are a common problem in many organizations. If you look at, um, at a company, you have different teams with different interests like the network team, server admins, cloud architects, etc., etc. And it's quite unfortunate that these groups don't talk to each other in the way they should do. So what we do is actually we try to address this problem in bringing those groups of people together with a software that actually allows everyone to see what is the problem right now and how to solve it. So basically, um, when the whole industry here is about uh, modernization of IT, we are there to support them. And that is a story that started maybe two years ago and it's still going strong because um, I used to say back in the days, IT supported the business, but nowadays IT runs the business. That's a very important part. That's, that's true. Uh, so IT teams often face resourcing issues we see in Middle East. So does observability, uh, uh, it is a one more solution they have to manage or can it, uh, can it help them uh, to cut down the overall workload they have? That is a real problem because um, if there's a ticket coming in, someone in IT has to respond. Even if the ticket is not really that important, but someone has to respond, okay? And modern solution can use AI-based features. I um, don't want to bore you with mathematical models, but um, we can, for example, suppress alerts that are not really important. Um, I give you an example. Maybe there's, there's a server and it peaks at 80% CPU. So a normal system would send an alert, but we check Maybe there's 500 people working on the server, so 80% is perfectly fine. But when it's only five people working, 80% will be a disaster, okay? So we use all this information and prepare it so the machine working in our software is faster than a human and it lowers the stress for the actual people working for the administrators and engineers. That's very important. So we try to help them and they obviously improve their efficiency for the whole business. That's, that's uh, correct. Going forward, can you explain the concept of observability maturity and how you would assess it in any organization? Um, you know, observability is a term that came up maybe 10 years ago from Gartner, okay? And it is kind of an evolution from the concept of monitoring. So we are on the market for 25 years, so we are quite old. Well, I'm even older. But um, so back in the days, we just checked if, if elements were available, if a server was available, if a website was available, very basic stats. And that was fine 10, 15, 20 years ago. But today, that no longer works. Back in the days, it happened quite often that technology stopped working. But nowadays, we have smart architecture, we have really good gear. So we usually say slow is the new down, okay? So stuff is no longer down, but it gets slower. And if you are a business, let's say you sell, you sell shoes, okay? And your website isn't really fast enough. What would you do as a customer? You go to the next one, right? So this is a lost customer. So in the, in the maturity model, um, the requirements of the business are more and more stricter. You need more data, 
you need to analyze what your customers actually do to improve the customer's experience. That is very, very important because the customers own the business basically, right? Um, with, uh, with a modern solution, we can pick up all this information from different layers and give it a number. A very simple example is you might have a hotel. What is the number a hotel is interested in? How many rooms are booked per day, okay? So we could potentially grab information from 100 different sources and calculate this single number, rooms per day, so that even a sea level understands very simply what it means for the business, what's happening right now. That would be on the highest end of the majority level for observability. That's, that's interesting. Uh, one last question from my side. SolarWinds has recently announced innovation in SolarWinds observability. So what's new now? There's many, many new things. Um, so the way we work, we try to have the finger on the pulse of our customers, okay? And if a customer comes to us, we want this and this and this feature, um, we try to accommodate this. So, and in the past, past year or so, um, we got a lot of requests for SD1. So we added support for multiple SD1 providers. Many of them are actually here on the show. So that is one new thing. The other thing is, some businesses prefer a solution that sits in the cloud, so SaaS-based solutions, and other businesses prefer something that's on-prem for various reasons. Maybe you are in a high security environment, so you want it on-prem. So we offer the choice for the customers. They can choose if they keep something in the cloud, the advantages, they don't have to deal with infrastructure, etc., etc., or keep it on-prem in their own data center, offline, completely secure. So that is basically the choice we can give them. There's another couple of things. Um, we built AI into our products for anomaly detection. Um, we have an amazing system in our AT ITSM solution. Um, for example, let's say what happens every day, we forget passwords, right? Mm -hmm. It happens, it happens to all of us, okay. So um, as a customer, as an employee, I can now use a simple chatbot and the chatbot would automatically reset the password. Very simple. But when my problem is a little bit more complicated, let's say Outlook doesn't work. We all had that, okay? So I write a ticket, hello IT, Outlook doesn't work. The IT employee will see another AI element stating, hey, we have 15 instances of Outlook not working. We fixed it this and this and this and this way, okay? So we support the employees on both ends. And now comes the best part. We all like to do our work. Like we have a check right here, okay? But no one likes documentation. No one likes to write documentation. We do this automatically. Our AI creates documentation and even sends an email to the employee, hey, we fixed your outcome. That's pretty cool. That's very, very interesting. And you have explained it in the easiest possible way, <laughs> uh, which anyone can understand. Thank you, Sasha, Thank you uh, for your time. And it was a pleasure talking to you. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Jitex Global 2024. Goodbye.